This is a review of the men's Matacat leather sneakers shoe by Timberland. These are size 44 and they are made in Bangladesh with full grain brown leather. They also have a version of this shoe in black as well as in white and with mixed material. This shoe is uh, full leather material except of the soles and the uh, undercarriage of which the lining material is made by 50% recycled plastic bottles and the midsole section is using AeroCore energy system which is a midsole compound that improves cushioning when you walk. It also has a defender repellent system which repels water and stains on the surface area. However, these are not water resistant shoes as some other Timberland models. Instead, this is a casual sneaker which gives you a athletic vibe with slightly elevated premium leathers. So something in between classic as well as sneaker shoes. And underneath it also features rubber outsoles which probably will make the sole more durable than other types of shoes I've seen before. And one advantage of these sneakers is that they are very light and very comfortable to walk in. Especially with my feet, which are flat, it's quite difficult to find a shoe that fits its form. Uh, usually I fit with Reebok shoes, but since my previous shoes are broken, I try to find new shoes and some other Timberland shoe that I tried on did not fit because they were too narrow in the middle but although these shoes look narrow from the outside they are actually quite flat on the inside so they fit my feet and while walking with them I didn't feel any pressure or other types of narrow Space. They also can be used for trekking or light hiking, however they are probably not intended for any kind of sport. Even though these are full grain leather shoes, they are not too hot to wear in a tropical climate. But you still also can wear them in a cold climate since the whole shoe is covered. The strings are normal shoe string which are flat, not round. And the stitching on the shoes seem uh, very detailed and look a uh, high quality. On the front you can see the rubber sole has been glued. At the moment it's new and it doesn't seem it will come off. Uh, let's see over time how they hold. But normally Timberland shoe last longer than conventional sport shoes. But this is a good compromise if you are the type of person who like the comfort of sneaker shoes but also like to have a classic look which you can use for almost any occasion. The inside seem to be aligned with a sheet of wild leather on the back and on the sides the inside looks like a high quality material which will last the lifetime of the shoe. The Ariocore midsole makes the shoe comfortable to wear and walk and seems to have good grip on different types of surfaces. I haven't tried yet on wet surface but 
until now any surface I tried didn't seem slippery such as on my previous shoe like the Converse which may be slippery on smooth surfaces that are wet. These soles are not completely flat so they let any kind of liquid capable of dispersing and going out of the shoe so it won't make the surface too slippery. Also the leather for this shoe has come from a silver rated tannery which means that one or more major components use at least 50% leather tanned in a facility rated silver or higher by a third party environmental audit. The leather working group judges and classifies tanneries based on energy use, waste production and water treatment. So if you want to get these shoes, they are at the moment 40% off over here in Bali, but i seen on the web they are at least 15% off and there are also no other logo on the shoe except of the Timberland tree logo on this corner here. Otherwise they are completely plain. They don't have any branding on the shoe itself except of in the inner sole inner sole uh, and the picture of the tree on the outer leather of the shoe. Timberland also started planting trees and plan to plant 40 million. To see more reviews like this please subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time.